They are not far up there. Rainy day, I'm getting into the house. My friend Gabe is already in here working. We got a nasty, ugly job today. How's it going? You're, you're the perfect volunteer. You're showing up and working before I'm even here. <laughs> it's all good. We had, a, we had one calamity, the, the grinder wheel died on us. Oh no, did it break? I, well, it just won't turn on. I was using it and it shut off. I thought it came unplugged, and then but the light was still on that. So I even unplugged that and tried it directly into the. Uh, huh. The thing's like 25 years old, so. Is it the motor, you think? It didn't smell like a burnt smell. I don't know. It might, it might be repairable, like just a lost connection in there somewhere or something. I guess I'm thinking of digging today. On this in this room, it's just a it's kind of an ugly job. But busting out that sidewalk or that walkway and that stone thing, and then just starting to dig and clearing out that rock pile. I think if we can get it cracked through that we can work kind of work down it easier. I don't know though. I'm just going to hit it about a hundred times and see what happens. This is the first time I've maxed out my <laughs> capacity to bring air through these filters. I don't know why this is so aerobic. This is just the kind of like forced labor basically. Oh, it's hard work is what I'm saying. We've cleared a good portion of the um, kitchen and dug it down to the level that we wanted. Remove this walkway, remove this stone wall. And what we're trying to achieve here, in case it's not clear, is basically when the bottom of the stud, I'm gonna lay down here, <laughs> we'll have some clearance basically. I'm so hot. I'll put a line there where the bottom of the studs are. So you can see like how much clearance I'll have when I crawl under there. It's not very much, but it's better than nothing. And if I can get in there, then I can maintain it. And it'll give all our framing clearance from the moisture. It'll also give room just for air movement under there. Unfortunately, that was the easy part as far as digging because this floor is so much higher. I think we've removed a lot of the rock though. Yeah. So maybe it will be better. There's a ton of rock. There was a ton of rock that we had to move out here. You want to eat? I'm hungry. Kind of what I'm thinking. Well, we had lunch. I was caught up in talking. Forgot to film anything up there. But anyway, that's fine. We're back down here to work. The dust has settled. There's that siren. I'm gonna see if I can hear it. You hear any coyotes? I was gonna go listen for them with that siren. These little fire departments have sirens. 
that predate uh, pagers. Now listen. You can hear the coyotes, Gabe. There's a lot of them. The siren's about a mile that way, and the coyotes are much less than a mile that way. <laughs> oh man, I wish I could see them. Isn't that crazy that there can be, there's probably a dozen or maybe half a dozen coyotes up there, and yet I've hiked up there over and over and over, you never, you know, you never see a coyote in the woods. Almost never. It's kind of scary. <laughs> It's why I never even think about them when I'm in the woods because you just don't see coyotes out here. But they're, you hear them, you can hear them all the time. Those are on the neighbor's property, probably. But they, I always hear them up that cove or up that cove, up on, our, on the back of our property. But I've never seen one in four years. I hear them every week at least. They're not far up there. They're, they're below that back ridge. They're like right in the middle there somewhere. I'd love to see them. I'd love to try to creep up there right now. <laughs> Run up that hill to get over with binoculars. They, they blend in, man. <laughs> they, it's amazing how camouflaged they are. I've had them come in. They're come into the other bait pile but when I've been watching them. And they're yeah. super, super alert and observant. They knew I was there, but you couldn't figure out where I was at. Yeah, I walked right up on them before in the woods years ago. I walked up on a litter, I guess, of pups. Walked right up on them. And their mom was there and stuff. And they all just skittered off. <laughs> but that's very rare. I've, see, I've seen them a couple times down the road, on the road. As you're just flying through, you'll see them at night. But anyway. <laughs> I actually love that the coyotes live here. So now we're going to a corner pile where it's already dug out, and then we're going to start digging here. And all the dirt is just going out this window because when we grade out here, we can just shove it that way. There's no reason to carry it any further. pile is in the corner of the kitchen just because we're going to need to build some piers and so I don't want to carry those rocks out when the piers will be a fair pretty early step and putting things back together but I'm going to use those rocks so basically it's just moving them less that's a nice rock the job well one of the jobs I've just been dreading and just thinking that's such a huge job so this is really an encouragement because even though there's still a lot to go over here we've done a lot of it honestly I'm, we're doing it right now it won't be done today but pretty cool We're on the same team here. <laughs> you Gabe, my friend, who's helping us gone. I'm gonna try to change the filters on my mask. Both of us were just 
Whew. We were maxing out our cardio when we were digging and especially digging with a Matic. Um, GoDev, some people call it. Especially when digging with the Matic. Um, both of us were just maxing out our cardio, really pulmonary. We were maxing out like our <laughs> ability to work with on the cardiovascular side with our mass. I'm just gonna change these filters. I'm just gonna trash these old ones. I'm really curious if this makes much of a difference. I mean, you do have to look at the color difference there. Let's see, there, pretty big difference, huh? I won't say I was close to passing out, but you know, felt that little sensation of just like, wow, that little dizziness, um, and then had to just back off on my pace. It's like this is a limiting factor in your cardiovascular system when you can't move oxygen fast enough into your lungs. But maybe I just need to slow down a little bit. Quit competing <laughs> to dig the most. Uh, let's try it out. What? It's actually better. A lot better. <laughs> what do you know? I should have done that this morning because this isn't very dusty work. But it is heart and lung demanding work. That's a lot better. It's like 30% better. 40% better. I'm going to order some more of those because it's good to have air when you're working hard. But I'm actually done with that for the day. In fact, I'm going to get out of the house. I'm going to shut off my light. And uh, take care of this <laughs> craziness out here. So there's the dirt we removed. Quite a bit of dirt. That siding is going to end up coming off in the end because I need to actually sheathe the exterior of the house. I'm just going to need to get that dirt pile away from it so I can have a tractor or a backhoe shove it that way and then around the corner or carry it um, without damaging the framing of the house. I'm not worried about dinging up the siding. That's going to all end up getting scrapped. There's just no way to patch it all with the amount of changes we're making. Plus, I have to put sheathing under it. Otherwise, I'll never have a good seal on the outside of this house. I'm really happy with what we were able to get done in here today. Just starting this, not to mention getting a ton of dirt moved is a huge progress. That's a treasure pile as far as I'm concerned. Rocks are valuable, especially good looking rocks. And there's a lot of good looking rocks in that pile. Hey, there's two more. Look, beautiful. This is a huge flat rock. It's almost three feet across this way. That could be King Arthur's round table, right? These cows are impatient for some more hay and they're waiting right there for it. I'm gonna actually give it to him down below. I'll tell you why. Well, I need to get these cows down here to put the calves in the barn. I'm gonna get these stray chickens in so the coyotes don't eat them. My guess is that those two will go in, but another one will try to come out. The grass is greener on the other side, right? That one thought about it, but. No. No. Now, in order to get the calves in the barn, I need to get these goats into a stall for a minute so they don't all run off. We'll slide this door open. Not you, buddy. And that'll keep them occupied for a minute. What we have is two cows inside that we want outside and two cows outside that we want inside. Come on. The funny thing about the calves is that because we don't really ever give them grain, they're not trained to come in the same way that all the other animals are. So I actually need to start giving them a little grain. Come on, you guys. Let's go. Let's go. You know what? They don't want to go in with the bowl. <laughs> we're st we just started back milking. We're 
still getting this down. So what I'm gonna do is actually kick him out of the barn. Uh, it shouldn't be too hard. Hey buddy, I'm coming through. Watch out, I'm coming through. But even easier, I just threw her in a stall. We'll let the bull mosey out of here at his own speed. Instead of trying to force him to do anything, we keep coming up with better plans. We should work together more often. <laughs> I'm gonna head up my ridge here to this little, I don't know what it is. It might've been an old mine. I've been trying to work on my pistol skills and just become a better shooter. So I've got this little 12 yard range here. And there's a nice bank all the way around this area. What I'm really focused on these days is how I'm pressing my trigger and just total control. And it's kind of actually a good feeling when you miss and you know why you missed. So there's that steel target, it's AR-500, and those rounds hit it and they just explode, 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 and disintegrate. Hey, buddy. How are you? You came down to see me, huh? Bree sent the kids down, and we're gonna do a job or two and play, and then we'll... The kids are doing one little job, just clearing up some wood for firewood and just some brush. Here's another piece of brush, guys. Okay. A lot more will go in there this way. We're just getting some uh, sticks of wood in here so they can dry, so we can have a campfire with them and clean up the yard, basically. And the bull is still in here. I may need to drive him out. He's just chowing down. Hey. All right, there he goes. We'll let the goats out. And we'll let the cow out. And honestly, she'll probably be cleaner spending the night in here than out in the pasture just because it's mostly clean and dry in the barn. And there are some muddy spots out in the pasture. What are you, did you fall down or are you just rolling in the mud for fun? Don't pee on my van. <laughs> He's marking his territory. What's cooking good looking? <laughs> Just sausage and cabbage and mac and cheese. Homemade mac and cheese. You made the pasta, of course. Huh? You made the pasta, of course. Oh yeah, I made it straight to Trader Joe's and got it out of the bin. <laughs> oh, good. <laughs> Great work. Yeah. I want to show you something funny. When you let kids paint each other's faces and then you try to wash it off, this is this is the end result. It looks... Oh yeah, that looks kind of scary. Can I see it? We're gently working on getting it away from the Can I see that thing? Uh, yeah, sure, here. You guys still are going to get washed. Fortunately, you don't have it around your eyes. Forevermore, tonight shall be known as the night of many tigers. Sparing face paint is better than generous face paint. What's sparing? Just a little bit. Oh, yeah. Because a what, little what, bit what, of... Make it a fake black eye? Like just like smell it, smell it, smell it. Like, yeah, it's hard to clean from around your eye, but just like painting a butterfly on your cheek, or a tiger, or a dragon, or a chicken, or a pig. Good idea. Yeah. <laughs> Go away! I need to get the rest of that off your face. This is a very nice meal. Thank you, Mama. You're welcome. Thank you. Thank you. you are welcome. I love you. I'm hungry, Mom. <laughs> Good. Let's pray. Let me see your face. Oh, let me see your face. Did we get your paint off? Mostly. Well, you we still got a little. He won't let me get it from under his eyes. It'll just probably have to wear off. Red All eyeshadow. I have in mind is um, eyeliner. Actually, a little eyeliner. bit of um, black. Yours actually looks like makeup. Yeah, yours looks like makeup because it's not red. It looks like eyeliner. <laughs> this has been a great day. I'm really happy with what we got done in the house. And it seems like Brie had a great day up here as well. So we'll see you in another video soon and it will be tomorrow. Bye.